It's Colin, and uh, kind of owe you guys a, a wrap up of the entire tour. Um, I wasn't as diligent about vlogging things this time because we had some sketchy weather towards the end of the tour and some really long drives, and I was just absolutely exhausted. I did manage to uh, to record our last show and captured some entire sets that we performed. So uh, there will be lots of content to come from the tour and from our performances. And I'm going to go through and kind of pick the best of um, various different songs that we did. And uh, anyway, had a blast. Uh, we had some ups and downs on this one, you know, hit some some nasty weather early in the season that, uh, yeah, made, made for some tough drives. And, and there were some long distances traveled, like driving around BC is uh it can be pretty intense it's really beautiful when the weather's clear and when the weather's not um man it's just a, a whole different level of concentration that you you have to have but um we made it home safely um we had a couple of great shows in vancouver to wrap things up we played at the heatley on saturday night and had a, a really packed house and uh just people there partying and having a good time so it was a good old-fashioned bar gig, but, uh, you know, with lots of folks that were very uh, attentive and appreciative. And uh, then we played at uh, Café du Soleil, and it was a smaller crowd on a Sunday night, but, you know, super attentive, like focused on what we were doing. Both wonderful venues. So what I'll say about this tour, really, is that uh, every venue we played was great. And we didn't have amazing turnouts all the time, but we had, you know, many of the shows were, were very well attended. And... Um, it was, it was just awesome, and uh, traveling with Liam is always a pleasure. He's uh, just a, a chill individual, and you know, even spending that crazy amount of time together in a van, on stage, you know, um, crashing at the same place and all that, I'd still, I wouldn't want to leave my family, but I wouldn't hesitate hopping in a van and going and do another tour with him right now. So uh, I, I get along really well with him, and he is a fine gentleman and an incredible musician and I just uh, really enjoy making music with him. So um, anyway, yeah, I'm back home. I've got to spend some time with my family. Uh, I've had some incredibly long nights of sleep. <laughs> the first night we got home, I think I slept for, I don't know, like 13 straight hours. It was, uh, it was crazy. It was really exhausting coming home. I was awake for... It was like more than a, a day straight. Um, we left Revelstoke, British Columbia, drove through the Rocky Mountains in a snowstorm back to Calgary. So we didn't take any video footage of that drive because you couldn't see anything. Um, 
the the clouds were like right down in the mountains and it was snowing and had to pay attention to the roads and and <clears throat> anyway so um so yeah we got got safely back to calgary and uh, returned the the rental van and the rental gear that we had and made it to the airport and we got there fairly early because it was just kind of all right i'm done i'm done moving i need to get someplace where we can just relax so we found some armchairs in the airport and just chilled and watched netflix um, not together. We picked our own shows and did our own thing and just uh, relaxed until it was time to fly home and the flights were uneventful. This time the flight from Calgary to Toronto was uh, a much more reasonable airplane and I will, uh, the, the flight out we flew from Montreal so I'll know next time to, to take the Toronto flight. Uh, there's more passengers going between Toronto and Calgary. The airplane's bigger, it's more comfortable and uh, then the, the flight home from Toronto it's like a prop plane, but it, it, again, pretty comfortable. So, yeah, we got home, and that was that. So I'm gonna put, uh, I put a little clip at the beginning of this video, which was the last tune that we played at the last gig, and I'm not gonna play the whole song, or put, I didn't put the whole song up because I've posted Passerby before, and I'm gonna go through all the footage I have and maybe find the best version we did of each tune, and I'm not sure if that's the one. Maybe it is. And, uh, but we had a really cool experience at a gig in Penticton at uh, the Dream Cafe. And that setup was sort of a full room and people were eating dinner, but uh, it's almost like the meal was served when we weren't playing. Like they were 100% attentive and really liked the show. And, um, you know, at the end of the gig, they started stomping on the floor and asking for an encore. So we played one and uh, it was a pretty cool tune that we did. It's a mashup of two cover songs, and uh, we start out with uh, the song Feeling Good, and then we went into, um, you know what, I'm not going to spoil it for you, because we, we switch gears partway through the song, and then we, we toss some, some improvisation back and forth and just had a lot of fun with it, and, uh, you know, it was a special night, and, uh, you know, you don't always get uh, these types of gigs, ask for an encore, so when you do, we like to give it our all. And uh, so I'm going to share that with you as a way to kind of wrap up this whole series of tour vlogs. And um, I just got back from a cool gig. I performed in the lobby at uh, the Aiken Center, which is on the University of New Brunswick campus here in Fredericton, for the home opener of the men's uh, hockey team. And uh, it's a really strong hockey program. They've won multiple national championships, including last year, I think. Um, I apologize, like I'm not a, a big follower of sports, but uh, I do like the fact that uh, our hometown university hockey team does so well. Uh, that is my alma mater, as you would say. I went to the University of New Brunswick right here in Fredericton. And uh, yeah, so it's awesome that they're doing well. And I played in the lobby, but the cool part was getting to go on to center ice at first intermission and sing one of my tunes there. So um, tomorrow night, I start the first show of a number of gigs in a residency that I'm doing at Timberwolves Barbecue in Mars Hill, Maine. And I'm going to be there this weekend and next weekend, and then basically once a month until next September, I think. And uh, it's a, a partnership that we're working on. I'm going to try and really build my fan base in the area. So if you're around the Mars Hill area, then uh, come on out. By the time this video goes up, it'll actually be Saturday. And Saturday evening is my gig. So uh, yeah, I hope to see some friendly faces out there. And I really do appreciate all the comments and the support and the kind words f from those of you that uh, have been watching these tour vlogs uh, religiously and... Yeah, it was quite a ride, and I can't wait for the next one. I'm still kind of tired. I'm less burnt out than I was, but I'm still probably not making as much sense as I could. So uh, I'm going to sign off here, guys. I hope you enjoy the tune that I'm going to uh, put on at the end of this video. And um, I have lots more content to come. Uh, we're still going to continue the lyric video series, and the next song up is Compel You. So I'm going to put... Um, a video out talking about the inspiration for that and the lyric video now that I'm back from tour and we're gonna start that process back up so yeah it's been a cool year and we're coming up on the one-year anniversary of me leaving my uh, my old job to do music full-time and it's been quite a ride and I'm really looking forward to next year 
So, uh, and the next tour and all the things. So, <laughs> man, I'm just dumb. I'm so tired. So, thank you for, uh, for humoring me, guys, and I uh, hope you have a great day, and we'll talk soon. <laughs> See, I usually sing that last one last because, you know, we, we burn out the rest of the carbon on the voice, so. <laughs> Coming from my heart is 
Thank you all so much for joining us.